Look at the rectangle on the screen. Let me now draw two lines there. Look at these two lines. These two lines are the lines of symmetry of the rectangle. What does this mean? This means that each of these two lines divides the rectangle into two halves and the two halves are mirror images of each other, right? That is what is the definition of a line of symmetry. Now let's look at this cube. Now can I have a line of symmetry for this cube? No, a line cannot divide this cube into two halves. In fact, no three dimensional figure can be divided into two equal halves by a line. Okay, so if not a line, then what do we have? Only a plane can divide a three dimensional figure into two halves and such a plane is known as the plane of symmetry. How do you define it? The plane which divides a three dimensional figure into two halves such that the two halves are mirror images of each other is called the plane of symmetry. So let's go back to the cube. Let me now show you a plane. This is the plane of symmetry of the cube. How does it divide the cube? Like this. Look at the two halves. They are exactly same. So this means that this plane is the plane of symmetry for the cube. Now let me take a fresh cube. Let me now divide it using another plane like this. Look at the two halves now. What do you see? The two halves are exactly same. So this is another plane of symmetry of the cube. In fact, let me tell you one thing. A cube has nine planes of symmetry. You want to see all of them? There. You see all of them on the screen. This is what the concept of plane of symmetry of a cube is all about.